The first Renoise tool I created was export to Unreal. And the purpose of this was to export song data in a form that could be used by Unreal Engine 4. When Renoise creates a song file, it stores the song data as XML, which Unreal Engine 4 will not accept, but it does accept JSON. So what this tool does is it translates everything that it needs into a JSON file, which can then be imported into Unreal Engine 4, and you can do whatever you want with it there. This was gradually built up, step by step, to be more and more complicated, and I put out videos of those steps on Twitter, which means most people didn't see them. So I thought I'd collect them here and show exactly what it is that they do. Step 1. Simple use of waveform amplitude to control movement of a 3D object. Step 2. Multi-track audio to control different aspects of a 3D object. So the previous step was just stereo data using volume, but this is multi-track audio controlling different aspects of the 3D object, i.e. the kick track will control movement, the snare will control rotation, toms the colour, and cymbals will control the letter. Step 3. Amplitude of different frequencies to control different aspects of the 3D object. At 100Hz, this will control movement. At 1kHz, this will control the colour. And at 10kHz, this will control the number. Step 4. Use exported Renoi song data to control the 3D object. The previous three steps had just been leading up to this one, which actually uses the export to Unreal tool to give song data to Unreal Engine. And then it combines that with the previous process, which was using the actual audio file. So the note played from Renoise will control the letter in Unreal Engine and the waveform amplitude in general will control the movement and the waveform amplitude at 5 kilohertz will control the colour. <laughs> step 5. Now, this is an expanded version of the previous step and it only uses exported multi-track song data from Renoise to control the different aspects of the 3D objects. The piano note controls the letter. The piano octave, the colour. The piano volume, that is the volume data from Renoise and not the waveform volume, that controls the height. The percussion retrigger is the shake. And the percussion retrigger value is the shake intensity. Step 6. Use exported automation data to control the 3D objects. Automation of decimation controls the colour. The bass note played is the letter and the bass note octave controls the height.
step seven, using OSC, uh, Open Sound Control, a protocol that allows two different programs that use OSC to communicate directly with each other. Use OSC to play Renoise from Unreal Engine 4, then transmit the note data directly from Renoise to use in Unreal Engine. Step 8. Using OSC, translate the 6 degrees of freedom data from VR controllers and then use them to control instrument macros in Renoise. So these various steps built up three things that can all be used as a source to control Unreal Engine from Renoise or vice versa. That's the actual audio waveform, there's the song data that the tool provides, and there's also the two-way communication via OSC. And for the future, I'll be going into Unreal Engine 5 and building upon everything that was created here and hopefully build something very cool for the future.